Hi guys, what's up? We're gonna do some animation today. I've made this uh, this little drawing, uh, which I'd like to import in Adobe uh, Animate CC, uh, and I'm gonna use the Adobe Capture app uh, for it on my uh, on my cell phone. There you go. There you see the Adobe Capture app, and when I open up the app, go to the shapes, hit the plus sign. I'm making an outline of my image. Just drag and drop the slider a bit. And all the green parts will be uh, be, will become shapes. There we go. Hit next to build up my image in vector. There we go. Hit the next button and uh, give it a name, of course. Save shape. And now it's in my Creative Cloud account, and I go to Adobe Animate CC. I'm gonna work with the bone tool. But first of all, I need to get my image from my CC libraries. There we go, this is my image, drag and drop it onto my stage. I'm going to import all paths into the same layer because it's probably going to be one path. Okay, scale it down a bit in order to fit it on my stage. And now in order to work with the bone tool I need to make sure that every single body part is going to be a symbol, a movie clip. So I'm going to use the lasso tool and select my head. So first of all I'm going to make sure that my paths are broken apart into shapes, into one big shape. And then I'm going to select with the lasso tool my head without that little stroke over there. There we go. I'm going to right click, convert into symbol called head okay and I'm gonna select my upper arm right click make sure you don't select the head as well convert into a symbol right upper arm it's on the left but it's the right arm of the character I'm gonna select the lower arm And now my upper arm is selected as well, so I need to hit Command, Shift and click on the upper arm in order to deselect it. Right click, convert the symbol, right lower arm. So and let's do the same thing for all the other body parts and let's speed up the process in the recording. Uh, don't want to take too much time. And finally the left foot. There we go. Every single body part is a, a movie clip at this, uh, this moment in time. So to continue working on I'm gonna select my, uh, my symbols. Cut them and uh, delete all the missed out parts of the image. And paste it back again. Well, to continue on working on my symbols, I need to uh, add some details to my objects. I'm going to add a layer a bit lower um, and add some uh, skin tone. And I'll be doing that for all the objects. This body part needs some uh, 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 some extra lines to make the animation work. So I'm gonna select the black color again. Use a smaller brush size. There we go. And then I'm going to fill it up with a color. I'm 
Now that my character is fully colored, I can add a bone structure to it. So I'm going to start with a bone at the heart area and drag and drop it onto the neck. There you go. From the heart area, I go to the shoulder. From the shoulder to the elbow, just dragging and dropping. From the elbow to the wrist. From the heart to the other shoulder again. From the shoulder to the elbow. Elbow to the wrist. Heart to the pelvis. Pelvis to the upper leg. Upper leg. Knee. Knee. Foot. Pelvis. Upper leg. Knee. Lower leg. And this is my basic structure for a skeleton. And not every body part has got its joints. All the uh, objects are in a new amateur layer, a yellow layer, which you can animate. So if you've done the, the correct thing and you hide the previous layer, uh, nothing will disappear because everything has moved to the armature layer. I can uh, expand my timeline. So insert a frame. And now my timeline is approximately a second. Um, and I can animate it. Maybe I need to do some rearrangement because this layer uh, needs to be at the back. And of course this needs to be at the back of the other layer again. So I need to arrange, send to back again. There we go. And everything seems fine now. Um, so I can uh, go to, uh, let's say, frame 10. Drag the hand up. And everything will move and there's an in-between already but if you notice my elbow and my uh, my shoulder oh it's quite painful I think if your shoulder does this trick so I'm gonna command Z a bit to get rid of the animation and I'm gonna uh, take a look at the joints I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna disable the rotation of this yeah, this bone this joint and now when I move my hand up my shoulder will stay in place there you go of course this movement is pretty painful as well I don't think your elbow can move like this this joint over here needs to have a maximum rotation so I can uh, make a constraint on the rotation and if I zoom in a bit command plus I can see that my uh, rotation will only go until this area and not any further. And now my elbow won't bend uh, until the maximum that I've put in. So now I'm going to make some poses. So I'm going to uh, go to frame 10, uh, raise my hand and there's your animation. Hooray! So I hope that you find this uh, tutorial helpful. Um, I'm really happy that uh, the bone tool is back again in uh, Animate CC. It's been uh, gone for a while, but I'm happy that it's back again uh, and hope you will uh, enjoy working uh, with it. So, uh, so bye for now and uh, enjoy. Make something beautiful.